Hi, I'm Sarah Catherine. A day at Gordon can be hard to describe because there's so many things to see and do and learn. That's why I want to take you on an insider tour to see the hidden gems and possibilities we have on our campus. The community here at Gordon is one of the best things. It's a supportive, thriving, enriching environment. And we have a lot of fun. Obviously a huge part of what goes on at Gordon on any given day is academics. And one of Gordon's strengths is its science department, located in the beautiful Ken Olson Science Center. Hi, Professor Alday. Hi, Sarah Catherine. Do you mind holding these just sure for a thing. moment? What you have oh. is Whoa. a human brain here. What? It's a sagittal section, which means we split it in half in order to see some of the more medial areas of the brain structures that are present. Okay. <laughs> so just down the hall over here is Gordon's greenhouse. Believe it or not, at night, this room is glowing pink, and you can see it from miles away. So the pink lights is actually necessary to grow our plants. And all the plants actually pretty much absorb the blue light and red light, and that's the wavelengths they absorb the most. That's also the two wavelengths that drive the photosynthesis. So they can convert water, carbon dioxide into sugars, and they grow. Wonderful! And here I thought you were having dance parties. Yeah, my student, maybe some workers do dance here sometimes. <laughs> Barrington Center for the Arts is full of art studios, rotating galleries, and my personal fave, the Black Box Theater. I love coming down on a Friday night and feeling like I'm in the show. Okay, so here's what's happening. We're just in the beginning stages of the rehearsal of Velveteen Rabbit. So what we're doing now is working out <laughs> potential <laughs> movements Seven of these people are narrators that are telling the story, but they also become characters, all kinds of different characters in the show. So there you go. Yeah? Awesome. All right, good. Okay, so one of the most innovative and exciting places on campus is the Center for Entrepreneurial Leadership's Innovation Hub. And it's home to the Social Venture Challenge. All right, so picture this, a fine arts camp for teenagers. And we're gonna do this specifically for teenagers who struggle with mental health issues like depression and anxiety and partner with um, other existing youth programs to make that happen. Another amazing thing about Gordon is the location. You can catch the commuter rail to Boston, hike in the Gordon Woods, or head over to Singing Beach and take in the beautiful New England shoreline. Gordon Athletics is where it's at. And this has been a record-breaking season for Scott's basketball. So there's a really cool student-led forum on campus called Dear Neighbor. Their mission is to lay the groundwork for a more diverse community on campus. Hi, so I'm going to start talking about my So I was born in Japan. At the end of the day, from athletics to academics to residence life, Faith frames everything. Catacombs is a student-led service in the chapel where all the lights are out except for a few candles on stage. So those are just some of my favorite things on campus. Honestly though, the best way to experience Gordon is to come see it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs>